so install Crouton to your Chromebook uh, the first thing you have to do you have to uh, transit your computer to the developer mode and to do that uh, you have to press on the escape and the refresh button together and then you have to press the restart button and after the computer restarts you will see that um, the computer is transitioning to the developer mode and you will see this screen your all local data will be cleared and uh, after that you will see this screen the uh, comp system is preparing to transit into the developer mode and it will take some time and after that it will restart and it will be in the developer mode so the keys are escape and refresh together and then you have to press on the shutdown or restart button so we are going to fast forward through this This process takes some time, 10 to 15 minutes, but I am going to fast forward through this and I think we are almost done. Now the computer has restarted and uh, we will see the regular welcome screen and you have to do all those things like you have to sign in with your email address and you have to put your password, you have to uh, connect to your Wi-Fi and everything. And uh, after that we are all in the developer mode. So it's checking for updates. Take some time. Now the updating is done, I guess. And yeah, you have to sign into your Chromebook and everything. So now my computer is in the developer mode. So what we are going to do, we are going to uh, uh, download the latest version of Croton from GitHub. So you can search GitHub Croton and uh, you will find the download link on the web page. So yeah, this is the download link. You can just press here and you will have the Croton downloaded file. And once you have downloaded Croton, you have to open the developer window or Yeah, so you can see the Croton file is here, 4 kilobyte. So now we have to um, bring on the terminal window. So for that, what you have to do, you have to press uh, Control Alt T and we'll go to the terminal window so from here so now you have to type shell s h e double l and press enter so you will see you are in the you are in the local host or you are a developer now as you are in the developer window and from here you have to uh, type s h space hyphen e space tilde forward slash downloads forward slash crouton c r o u t o n space t space list so now it will show you all the different versions of desktop that's available for example uh, um, XFC, Kodi, Unity, or Chrome, Chrome Beta, whatever version you want, you can install. So these are all the options you have, or these are all the versions that's on your Crouton file. So I'm gonna install the XFC. Um, and also if you want to see the release versions, we can do that too. So for that, I'm just gonna press the up key to bring the previous command. And now I'm gonna delete up to Croton and type space R space list. 
so here is all the release versions um, and I'm gonna install the 14.04 I guess the trusty uh, so I'm going for the desktop version XFCE and release trusty so I have to type sudo s u d o space s h space hyphen e forward slash tilde forward slash downloads slash crouton space hyphen t space xfce that's my version you can choose any version you want hi space hyphen r space trusty t r u s t y and now you have to press enter and uh, all the unpacking and installing and setup everything will go on so you, you don't have to do anything you have to just wait for like 15 minutes and when it's done it will ask you for an username you have to press your desired username and you have to set up a new password you have to confirm the password i guess yeah and then you just have to type in so now it's ready to go and you just have to type in sudo s u d o space start s t a r t x f c e 4 and press enter and um, you're in the linux version of your computer and so from here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get rid of the all the unwanted icons uh, you can go to the desktop settings click on the icons and um, you can just uncheck the xbox uh, and the icons will go away so i'll just keep the trash and the file system on my desktop and um, yeah we have a clean desktop now so from here if you want to install the software center i can show that in another video so now you have installed linux on your chromebook